Is our elder injured? Wow. Uh, you really need to... All right, she's fine now. She'll be okay. Okay. Uh, let's get that sap. Since we are collecting it, apparently. Uh, there was some graffiti. Let's take a look at that. I have no idea what this means. Something sketty was m made to me? Made to be? All right. Oh, I'm auto exploring, and I think the uh, the skunk the skunk got scared because of the dreadroot tuber, and and is now destroying everything. Okay, just gonna manually move around, destroy this tuber. Ah, sorry about that sound. It's going to have an all stream, and I don't think there's anything I can really do about it. <laughs> Till I get a new computer. I mean, it's something on my, on the, like, the system process that's doing it. It's not my sound. Like, it's something, it's, it's doing something to my CPU every once in a while. Um, and I cannot figure out what it is. All right, auto explore. I think we've got most of this floor done. Okay. Uh, right? No. Okay. Good. Let's go down. We should be almost to the bottom. I think we are on. Uh, we're three strata deep. We're about to be on the fourth stratum. What is this? A uh, tetra xenon glass wall. Fluted columns of prism glass scatter the sight of becoming into a thousand fractured vistas. Cybernetics credit wedge. Heck yeah, we'll take that. And hopefully down here, we will also find a place to use them. Be becoming nooks, a, a becoming nook. the honey skunk do oh, okay it was being attacked by a centipede fine yeah yeah i'm gonna take all this oh thanks honey skunk for killing that jilted lover for us all these bits oh, i shouldn't forget i have a pump shotgun reload it but our jackhammer is definitely our tool of choice uh elder omomora gained a level take that sap don't do it skunk A square cap, oh, like a graduation cap, um, gives you intelligence and ego. Not bad. Um, I mean, we're not going to replace the leather cap with it because we want that armor value. But um, situationally, like if we need the intelligence for something. Okay. All right, you dirty skunk. What? Bleeding? Oh, young ivory. All right, stop bleeding. Healed up. Let the acid destroy all the walls. Okay. I, I looked in the area, yeah. Oh, <sighs> did not mean to attack that wall. Elder... Please 
go somewhere else. Hi, skunk. More glass or tetra, xenana, whatever. All right, this is the becoming nook, but we need to find the right entrance to it, I think. Which, or can I walk into it? No, it's a wall. Um, I'm curious if I. Well, we can get to the other. Are these Falkrete walls? They are. Um, but I might be able to get over from here. We do have a jackhammer. We can dig pretty efficiently. Uh, oh, th yeah, this is sandstone. If I say dig right there, boom. It did take a little bit. Once we, when we hit it, we do a ton of damage. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty far away. I don't want to be digging a giant path that way. That's going to take a long time. Also, where is our elder? There's got to be a way th through here, doesn't there? Yeah, I don't know if I wanted to do that. Or did I? Can we just break this glass? Is it yeah, it's pretty it seems like it's pretty easy to break. Okay. Good. This uh beetle bum is neutral. Our elder is teleporting around, having a grand old time. Okay, let's see. First, let's check out the cybernetics rack. Two weird artifacts. Before I examine them, why don't we actually put on the square cap? It gives us a bit of a higher chance with higher intelligence um, to correctly identify them. Pneumatic pistons, which compressed gas drives piston rods into musculature powdered with graphite dust and sends the jumper soaring. Your jump range is increased by four spaces. Okay. We would have to get jump, I think. I think. And here is skill soft disarming shot. So this just gives you the skill disarming shot. Um... Yeah, gives us the skill disarming shot. Which I assume is a it's either pistol or bow and rifle. There it is, it's a pistol skill. You have an agility based chance to disarm your opponent when you score a hit with a pistol. Not super great for us. I mean, it's nice that we could get it without having 23 agility, but meh. But the pneumatic pistons sound cool. Welcome, aristocrat, to a becoming nook. You are one step closer to the grand unification. Please choose from the following options. Uh, we're not going to uninstall cybernetics. Install. You are becoming aristocrat. Choose an implant to install. We do not have enough points for either of them. We have two credits. Okay. Oh, wait. I can upgrade my license. Become a finer aristocrat. Upgrade your license tier with cybernetics credits. Yeah. You are becoming aristocrat. Keep doing it. Okay. Now can I? Yeah, now I can install them. So we could install pneumatic pistons. 
And I think that um, most of these things, not not every cybernetic is refundable or like interchangeable. Some of them require like amputation, but I think it warns you when something is not going to be refundable. So I think we might as well get pneumatic pistons. I think. It's, I mean, it's possible that we won't be able to wear boots. I think we might as well try it. Install cybernetics. Pneumatic pistons. On our feet. Complete. Uh, apparently that's the first... I just got an achievement you are becoming. Apparently that's the first cybernetic I've ever installed. Congratulations, your cybernetic implant was successfully installed. You are becoming. Okay. That's good. So... No, we're still wearing our magnetized boots. Do I have the jump ability? I do not. I do not have the jump ability. That's still a skill we would need to get. And if we get jump, which I don't know what that would be under. Um, but in theory, oh, acrobatics. Acrobatics. If we get jump, you can, you can see it's uh, a range of two, but we would have a range of four or would we have a range of um where does it show our cybernetics oh oh not what i meant no i want to see what we have implanted where does it show what we have implanted uh, i don't know where does it actually show our implants like our night vision. Oh, cybernetics here. Whoops. There we go. Um, here we go. Night vision, pneumatic pistons. It's increased by four spaces. So our jump range would be six instead of two. Pretty cool. So jump, just because we have this, jump may be something that we want to get. And, it, you know, since we are wearing these boots, it probably would be good for, like, getting out of bad situations. That sounds really good to me. Yes, sir. Let's go down here. See what's... See what this glass is all about. That might... Those might be the only cybernetic uh, wedges down here. Oh, look at this. Another rack. Did not expect that. Um, well, yeah, we'll examine them right here. Transparent skin. It adds three dodge value permanently. Um, cool. The, the new flesh is as ghost film, cloaking none of the machinery of life. And this one, fire suppression system. Uh, I meant to look at it, but... Heat activated gel is stored in a bionic capsule and dispensed through subcutaneous rubber hoses. Automatically discharges flame retardant gel every turn you're on fire. This ability can be toggled on or off. That's also cool. Very cool. Um, unfortunately, we have no cybernetic credits. We could replace our jump. Oh, and here's another, um, another becoming nook. We could replace our jump, but... I kind of like over out of all of these things. I think I like jump. I mean, the transparent skin is cool. Just flat three dodge value. And we can't use jump yet. Not until we get another um, almost another hundred next level, I guess we could get. Yeah, swift reflexes and jump. And maybe we will. I don't know. What do y'all think? We can always come back here. We have our wedges, but we at least we know this becoming nook is here. I'm going to auto explore just in case I miss something. I got to remember to put my helmet on too. Um, and let's eat. 
Delicious. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of here, I guess. Um, I think we're just gonna do some exploring before we go to Grit Gate. Or are we okay with going to Grit Gate now? We could also go to the Six Day Stilt. I think, I think the way this character is and how good we are with robots, we might just want to go to Grit Gate immediately. So yeah, let's just leave this place. We're kind of already like halfway to Grit Gate just by being here. Uh, Haraka Makara says, keep the jump. But this is cool. I like, um, I like that we have some, uh, have an additional cybernetic now. That pleases me. Yeah, to Grit Gate. And we'll see, you know, if, um, anything here looks a little difficult, we can flee. 500 XP. Uh, this droid should be neutral. Oh, it's hostile. Really? Did not expect that. Thought you would be neutral. All right, well, we'll kill you. Heal up. Uh, let's eat. Oh, great. We randomly got can use electromagnetic pulse at level two, which is a perfect ability for where we are. Spark tick, no problem. Yeah, I feel pretty okay doing Grit Gate with this character at this point. The security card makes it easier, too. Um, let's just try meeting the pulse. Yeah, you're EMP'd. Yeah, pulsed. And 127 round cooldown. Good to remember. Hey, leveled up. And is this just oil? Oily salt. Oily salt. It'd be good to get some oil oil. Thank you, Elder. You impress me. Bear should be no problem. And look, the elder comes back to help. That door looked funny. It's graffitied. I sing of the common slug in a ble bleached tableau. I'm just going to attack it. I don't need to emit a pulse. It's easy enough. Himself, nice. Okay. All right. The bits, the bits. Centipede still giving us full XP. Uh, it is nighttime, which gives us an advantage because we have the night vision goggles. Can we do we see it downstairs yet? We do not yet see it downstairs. Really? Where could it be? I see like spaces we haven't seen. All right, auto explore, I guess.
Oh, there it is. We also haven't found any um, segmented mirthworms down here yet. Electrofuge slug snout. All right, there's slug snouts, which are a bit scary. Let's back up. All right, they're going to hit the hermit before they hit us. I don't like it. Let's go upstairs. Kill these things one at a time here. This is the slug snout? Yeah. Nice. Elder gained a level. Uh, we still have a fresh cell. Anything else coming up? No. Crystal healed. Most things are dead. Nice. Hello, bear. I'll let the droids over there kill each other. Oily salt. Is there a way to, like, take oily salt and separate the oil and the salt? I imagine there would have to be. So there's like a centrifuge somewhere or something like that. Oh, that is a slumberling. Um, first of all, Elder, we're, we're not going to fight the slumberling. Slumberling. Uh, move that way. Oh gosh, why? Okay. All right, here are some segmented mirthworms. An ape. An albino ape, which is neutral. We'll kill these for you, albino ape. We're pretty tough. We can do it. We got a pneumatic jackhammer. And we'll be taking this. Nothing too great. Uh, Jacob says, is it in those two squares you missed? Oh, the stairs. Yeah, I, I guess so. Uh, right, got to avoid that slumberling. Although I think the albino ape is attacking the slumberling. Let's... I imagine that the albino ape just died. But if we see the albino ape again, maybe we'll go back. Okay. Steel arrows, an artifact. Um, I'm going to take it for now until we can put on our hat again. Carbide battle axe. Giant one backpack, advanced toolkit. Engraved carbide battle axe. Let's take a look. Reputation with the cult of. Zerth Repater. Um, and there's a scene from the ancient sultan Zerth Repater. While traveling through Tab Tabuan, Zerth Repater stopped at a market in Birvaruk Cave. At an obscure shop, he purchased a freezing vest and named it Freezing Cousin Zerth Repater Gift. Then he went to a nearby tavern and lost Freezing Cousin Zerth Repater Gift in a foolhardy bet. He cursed the tavern and left, uh, and left Birvaruk Cave. All right, we got a quest to get that now. Not bad. Silver nugget. Cool. I think we can give some stuff to the elder. Another backpack. I'll give you the steel boots. I'll give you a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, and you equipped the carbide battle axe and the cloak instead of the nylon ba uh, body pack. Okay, um, and I want to equip. No, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, equip very briefly the square cap. Identify that artifact, which seems to be some sort of grenade. Stun gas grenade too. And then put our leather cap back on. Uh, Haraka Makara says maybe a desalination pellet would remove the salt from the oil. Oh, that's... That makes a lot of sense. 
That makes a lot of sense. All right, so we're full hit points, sated, quenched, refined. Buckler? An iron buckler. I'm gonna leave the furs. What's going on over here? Yeah, come here, droid. You're damaged. Should be able to kill you pretty quickly. Uh, we got an artifact. Another cloak. Okay. Oh, that looks like just... Oil. Now it's brackish oil. Brackish oil. Oily salt. Bloody oil. It used to be easier to get regular oil. Pure oil. Okay. Um, let's do again with the square cap. And what is this? A stun rod. Do not care about that at all. Uh, it looks like we can go up here, but I think it's probably just a wall. Yep. Let's go down. Okay. We're the lower tunnels. This is all fine. Oh, great. Level 10. Let's take a look. We have 300 skill points and an attribute point. Uh, so we could get to strength 19 or an intelligence 20. I think we go for the jumping stuff. All right, we can now jump. We still have 129 skill points. And... Yeah. And, um... Spry. Eh. I mean, Spry's nice. Flat two bonus to dodge. But there's stuff I think we might want before that. Uh, we could finally get shield. And put on a buckler. Probably a good idea. But uh, we were looking at uh, tactics, right? We were looking at a uh, charge. Which might be cool because we could charge in and then jump away. But we need more skill points for that. So I think we wait. Um, so I haven't used that ability yet. Did we need 19 strength or something? Oh, we needed 17 strength for charge, but we've we've had that. That's not a problem. It was 19 strength for charging strike. But I think we're going to get to 19 strength naturally and not too long. The question is, do we want to like keep going down strength and get like conk? It may not be a bad idea. Weathered. I gotta say, the endurance skills just are not super appealing. They're expensive. They do. They're just. They're underwhelming. Heavy weapon stuff, of course. Yeah, that's right. And there's only the one that takes 27 strength. Self discipline. Also underwhelming. I mean. Could still, like, save our life. And yet underwhelming. But we might want to get all of them. <laughs> Honestly. I don't know. Let's just save what we have for now. And if anyone has an idea of where to put our additional attribute, um, we can. We could put it into intelligence just for an additional, like, more skill points as well. Might not be a bad idea. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, okay, let's get going. Once these way droids get, like, right up to us. Now we're going to emit pulse. I can't do anything for a little bit. Bear is dead. Um, look how many things are right by us. 
Let's try your new ability. Jump! And look how far away we can jump now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that far. Pretty nice. But look, let's just jump back to the staircase here. Oh, I can't jump over the giant. Ah, I see. I can't jump over enemies. Okay. Still, let's jump this way. Oh, look at us. And then I can fire our shotgun. I don't want to hit the hermit. Yeah, just come to me. Let them come to me. Kill the big one. Of course, I am kind of trapped here. I think I'll be okay. Um, can't emit pulse for another 113 rounds, so... You know what? I don't super like this. Yeah. Let's sprint. Get up these stairs. Get up another flight and rest. Okay, that was a little, a little dangerous. Jacob says plus one int and plus one ego, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, Jay, you're answering a question. JS says, never seen a square cat before, what does it do? Yes, that's exactly what it does. Plus one int and plus one ego. Oh, whoops. Crystal healed. Albino ape should be neutral, it is. On our side, killing things for us. Oh, we got goggles here. Steel sword. What's in here? A lacquered carbide short sword. We will give that to our companion. Shotgun shells. Fine wafers. Okay, cool. That was a little hairy. Not just because of the albino ape either. 